Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP EliteBook 840G8. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your heatsink assembly, your fan, your CPU area. This will help if you're looking to replace some components or clean some things out for an overheating issue or even access your CPU to reapply thermal paste. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplug from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you only have five screws here, three up top, two near the middle. And after you remove those screws, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your case a lot more than the plastic ones do. So take a small, flat plastic pry tool and then go across this seam all the way around the bottom case, all the way here, inside here, and slowly, gently pry off that bottom case from the rest of the computer. Now, as far as bottom cases go, this one wasn't very bad. This was an easy bottom case to pry off from other laptops that I've worked on. After you get the bottom case off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, just as a side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet. These are great ideas to avoid damaging your computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies like that to get into your computer and to make your work area safe, as well as any replacement parts, the batteries, hard drive, RAM, fans, any components in the HP EliteBook 840G8, I'll have a link up top also below in, in the description. It'll be a collection of all the tools and supplies that I use on this project, as well as any replacement upgrade parts for this computer. Before touching anything in a computer, guys, I always consider it a best practice to remove or at least unplug your battery. So here's your main computer battery right down here. There are four screws holding this battery in on top. One here, one here, one here, one here. So all four battery screws on top. In order to get the battery out, you also have to take this speaker wire here. See how the speaker wire goes along the bottom of the battery? That's kind of stuck in there. So you got to make sure that the speaker wire is not connected to the battery before you just go rip that battery out. You could damage your speakers. After that, guys, this is your battery plug right there. Some of you may have a black piece of tape over it. As seen here, when the computer was first opened, you may have to take that black piece of tape and just bend it back a little bit. But after that tape is removed, you can unplug this. Now, as with any wires in a computer, guys, try not to pull on the wires. Uh, put your fingernails on either grip there on that plug or a pry tool or a pair of pliers or something other than pulling on wires if you can help it. And you can just jimmy that plug right out of that port. So now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safer to proceed deeper into the computer. This is your fan and your heatsink assembly right here up top. You see your fan here, your heatsink, this is your vent, and it goes over your CPU right here. So to get your fan out, guys, there's a few screws. There's a screw here, a screw here, and some of you have one up here, some of you won't, but it's plugged into the motherboard right here. And as with most things in a computer, avoid pulling on the wires. This especially goes for the fan. It's very small, very flimsy, very easy to break. So definitely try to manipulate that plug and, and not pull on those wires. So use your fingernails or a pry tool, jimmy that out of that plug, and you'll be able to unplug your fan. Also keep an eye on, on these cords, guys. You have several cords, your LCD cable right here that plugs into the motherboard right there that runs through your hinge assembly, as well as your antenna wire, those run through your fan. So if you wanna get your fan out, you may have to unrun those from around your fan. Your heat sink is up here near the vent. If you guys are having a, an overheating issue, this is a great time to vacuum or blow out your computer, specifically your fan and your vent. Also with an overheating issue, if you're here to reapply thermal paste, you would unscrew these four screws over your CPU to release that heat sink. If you are here to reapply thermal paste, there'll be a video link below in the description. I'll also put it up top. That'll be a quick tutorial on how to apply thermal paste after cleaning the old stuff off, which you definitely want to do. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful. I hope it helped you get inside the computer safely, access these components. If you have any questions, guys, check out the FAQs in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, 
please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.